you don't have these problems with daughters. Like, I don't have that problem with my, my daughter doesn't challenge me to a fight. The only problem I ever had with my daughter is that she's been smarter than me since she was six. And like half the time when we're sitting in our living room, I didn't understand a word that was coming out of her mouth. Like we'd be in my living room, I'd be like, what's up, baby? She's like, uh-huh, I'm like a daddy. 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 It's like having a fucking dolphin in my living room, right? She tells me everything too. She came home one day and she was like, oh my God, daddy, I have to tell you something so important. Oh my God, daddy, oh my God, daddy, oh my God, daddy, okay, daddy, oh my God, daddy, okay, daddy, oh my God, 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 daddy, okay, daddy, oh my God, daddy. Chris tried to kiss me. And I was like, oh my God. I said, what happened, babe? And she said, oh my God, daddy. I told him I wasn't sure if I was allowed to do that. I had to go home and ask my daddy. And I said, you know what, babe? Thank you very much for asking. Look, I know you're a teenager and your hormones are running crazy and, and, and you don't know what to do, you know? You, you, it's hard, a hard time, you know? And the hormones are up and they're down. And look, I know it's a hard time and I'm not gonna tell you what to do and what not to do because I don't think that's my job as your father. My job as your father is just to tell you what I know. And what I know is, is that God doesn't let little hookers into heaven. <laughs> do whatever you want to do with that information, babe. Oh my God, that huh? I don't know what to tell her, guys. She's hanging around teenage boys. Teenage boys are the single biggest predator that walked this planet Earth. They're not in control of what's happening here. It's not their fault. Any man, any guy in here will tell you things used to pop up all the time for no apparent reason. And it was confusing to us. I remember sitting in math class like, and the teacher always thought I was cheating. I was just checking to see if anybody else was hard. I'm like, what the? Guess nobody likes geometry as much as I do. <laughs> and I remember one time, teacher was like, Mr. Wolf, you can leave. Math class is over. <laughs> no, I can't. Picked a bad day to wear sweatpants is all I'm gonna tell you. Me and the chick who just got her period for the first time, we're gonna hang out here for a little while. You don't mind it. A terrible age that was. I'll tell you something about my daughter, man. You learned really early on with her, she is a ride or die person. If you are on her team, she is on your team forever. Here's when I knew there was no snitch in her. When I met my wife, I was uh, a single and I was raising three kids, right? And in my deal, she and I had both decided, we were like, look, it's not important for her to meet the kids until we know we're gonna get married. Because neither one of us thought it was good for her to start a relationship with them until we knew it was a forever relationship for us, right? So she used to come over after the kids went to sleep and then she would go home. So one night, it's late and um, she says to me, uh, I don't, I, I can't really drive home tonight, I'm too tired. And I was like, well babe, the first time the kids meet you can't be tomorrow morning in my bed, that is not okay. <laughs> she said, I know, but I don't know what to do. And I said, well do you want me to get your car and then I'll get your car back here tomorrow and you can drive your car home? And she said, I'm just so tired. She said, do you mind if I just sleep in your closet? And I was like, <laughs> so let me just see if I got this right. You're coming over and we're at dinner. We're gonna have sex. And then you're gonna sleep in the closet? <laughs> and she was like, yeah. And I go, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but so she goes to sleep in the closet, right? Next morning, I'm up, and my deal with the kids was, I make breakfast, I make lunch, you get yourselves dressed. So my daughter runs in, and I'm cooking breakfast, and she goes, Daddy, I can't find my shoes. And I go, babe, you know I'm making breakfast, I can't help you out. And she goes, I, I don't know where, I looked everywhere. And I said, you didn't look everywhere. Go find the shoes. So, about three minutes later, she runs in and she goes, yeah, I still can't find my shoes, and there's a stranger sleeping in your closet. <laughs> 
And I go, okay, babe, uh, thank you. I said, I'll help you find your shoes. And she goes, okay. I go, just out of curiosity, Kate, there's a stranger sleeping in my closet. That's the reaction I get? And on her way out of the kitchen, she goes, it's your closet, Daddy. I don't know what happens in your closet. And I was like, well, I'm gonna bury some bodies with that girl. That's shoot. <laughs>